أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عدد من صلى عليه وصل على سيدنا محمد عدد من لم يصلي عليه اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد أضعاف ما صلي عليه رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحمل عقدة من لسان يفقه قول ما لدي أولياء الله عينون العون الله وكون عون لنا بالله عصر نحن فضل الله طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية Our way is صحبة صحبة is the vehicle companionship for people to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as with Sayyidina Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم رحمة الله للعالمين Salawat Rabbi wa salamu alayh. His suhba made the companions like the stars for humanity. It means he made them role, role models. These people, uh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, they were not, they were, they were difficult people. Yeah. They were tough people. Sometimes they were they were criminals. Yeah. You read some of the, in the Sira. One person he, on the way uh, he killed all his companions and took their money. Then became Muslim. Islam So they were they were يعني some of them were in very bad people or doing bad things. But Sohba with Sayyidina Muhammad. Being in his company made them into role models, to stars for humanity. He said, Ashabi can nujum bi ayyihim muhtadaytum iqtadaytum. Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi. He said, they became like stars. Yani, any Sahabi, you follow their way, you will reach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is meaning. He said, I have raised these ones, they have accompanied me. Now, they are also examples for you to be guided. What did they do? Did they go to universities? They studied the fiqh and aqidah? How? What did they do? They, they, said they were companions. They were ashab. This sunnah is the basis for tariqah. Suhbah. They say, well, what is Sufism? Where are you bringing this? Where tariqah from? Where? It is Sohbatu Salihin. Yes. No more. Tariqah is emulating that. One, 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 one person who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is acceptable to Allah, near to Allah. Allah loves him. That person, you put around him people, they are also transformed changed they also with that sohba they become good ones that's tariqah nothing else nothing more that's why the patron of this tariqah Naqshbandiya Aliyah Shah Bahauddin Naqshband he was born on the 14th of Muharram it is said he said 12,000 times in his majlis tariqatuna as sohba wal khayru fil jamiyah Counted how many times he said it. <laughs> 12,000 times it means 12,000 majlis. 12,000 gathering of dhikr. Somebody who sits 12,000 times calling people to Allah and making dhikr Allah. Is that person acceptable to Allah? Is that person near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is he from awliya Allah? أَلَا إِنَّ أَوْلِيَاءَ اللَّهِ لَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَوْمْ يَحْزَنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَكَانُوا يَتَّقُونَ Those are the awliya. رِجَانٌ صَدَقُوا مَعَهَمُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِ People who were true to their promise, to their covenant. رِجَال And from them, ulama said, رِجَال here is in a general sense. So women can be spiritually from the, that Station. 
like Sayyidah Rabia al Adawiya, many awliya from women, Sayyidah Asiya, those are the, some of the ones mentioned. But there are many, uh, Sayyidah Maryam was Siddiqa. So even Siddiq, woman, lady. That's tariqa. It's not rocket science. It is now the difficulty is, the problem is now people are raised in, for many generations now, two, three, four generations. They're raised without any reference point. There's no experience in their mind of this. Because we had colonialization in the Middle East and in India and all, and they, they tried, the, the English were devious, they tried to disconnect us from our heritage. So they attacked Tariqa, they attacked Mashayim. When the French went to, Az to, 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 uh, to Egypt, it is said that they, they killed a thousand Azari scholars that time, that time, Mashaykh al-Azhar were all Mashaykh Turuq. Because they wanted to finish. So now, that's why we, people, when, when you speak, it's hard for them to understand what you're talking about. Why you need, I never saw this in my family, or my father, or my mother, or my grandmother, or, or, uh, we never had this. Why you have to have a person to follow? Why you have to have? Because, because of the fitna of the last hundred years. You don't have to. No one has to do anything. Islam is about applying your free choice. Even if you don't have a shaykh. And you say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. And qala la ilaha illallah da qala jannah. So these mashayikh, these are people that since since their young age, I have the, the his serum, it's gonna to take too long to go through. But since since he was a young age, his grandfather would take him wherever there's a sheikh, wherever there's he hears a alim, he hears a person of knowledge, he hears that there is a wali, he would take Shah Baha'u'ddin and, and ask them to pray for him, to bless him. If they were there, he would ask them to stay with them. This is Shah Baha'u'ddin also, since a little child. And by the age of 18, he sent him to stay with our one of our grandmasters, Grand Shaykhs, Shaykh uh, Samasi, Sheikh Samasi. Huh? Hamad al Samasi. So he offered me tea, I refused. Sheikh Muhammad Baba Samasi. He stayed with him at the age of 18. And he learned from him. Suhbah, companionship. And he stayed with hundreds and learned from hundreds of Mashaykh. Until his Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad Baba Samasi, when he passed, he entrusted him, him to his Khalifa, Sayyid Amir Kulali. And that was his Sheikh who raised him and completed him, perfected his insight. Allah does not look at you. Allah wants this. So this is now ignored, neglected. No one pays attention to the heart. Oh, he one has jealousy, uh, he has ghalab, he has hasad, he has, uh, uh, what do you say, ujub, uh, he's, he's proud of himself. All these uh, fat all these uh, sicknesses of the heart are left untended now. You go to the masjid, you go to the masjid, you pray, 
the Imam prays, you punch in, you punch out, Assalamu Alaikum. Like you walk in with, you are a person of ghadab. You go home and you're angry with your wife, you're angry with your children, you're angry with uh, your business partner, you're angry with the world. And what did Prophet Sallallahu say? al ghadab kufrun Three times he repeated. Ghadab is kufr. Anger is kufr. But you are praying. You are fasting and you have this tamma, you have this afa, you have this problem in your heart. How are you going to resolve this? That's where tasawwuf comes in. Tasawwuf is fixing our hearts. Following shaykh, shaykhs are like doctors of hearts in tariqa. You go to them and they assess what your problem is and they'll say, my son, okay, this is the recipe. Follow this medicine, take this medicine morning and evening, whatever it is. Do this awrad, do this afkar, salli ala nabi, make istighfar, attend the majlis of dhikr so that that ailment becomes less and less. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise higher and higher Shaykh Ba'a'uddin Naqshaman Muhammad Uysi Bukhari because these people will sacrifice, sacrificed everything. Their entire life is in service. Their entire life, I would like to read something just from uh, قال قد أرسلني جدي وكان سني وقتئذ نحو ثماني عشر عام. He said my grandfather sent me when I was 18 to serve العارك بالله الكبير شيخ شيخ محمد باب السماسي بسناعي من. He said as soon as I met him I found in myself a سكينة tranquility وخشوعا وتضرعا ورجوعا. And this is this is this is the real doctor. So he prayed with him. He woke up before Fajr, and he made two rakats in the masjid with of Shaykh Muhammad Abu Samasi. And he made dua in his in his. Uh, he said. Allahumma a'tini quwa ala tahammul al-bala'i wa mihnat bil-mahabba. Allah give me strength to carry uh, trials, the trial of being in love with Allah and His Prophet. ثم إني صليت الفجر مع الشيخ قدس الله سره فلما انصرفت من الصلاة then I prayed fajr with the shaykh. As soon as I finished the prayer, the shaykh looked at me and he said, my son, you must say in your dua, O oh my Lord, Ilahi a'ti hadha al-abd al-da'ifa ma fihi riba. O Allah, give this weak servant what is pleasing to you. فَإِنَّهُ تَعَالَى لَا يَرْضَى أَنْ يَكُونَ عَبْدَهُ فِي بَلَاءٍ وَإِنْ اِبْتُلِيَ He says, because Allah does not like His servants to be in, in difficulty and affliction. وَإِنْ ابْتَلَى حَبِيبَهُ عَلَى مُقْتَضَى حِكْمَتِهِ يُعْطِهِ قُوَّةٍ عَلَى تَحَمُّلِهِ I said, but if Allah, Allah does not like to afflict His servants, but when He does afflict His servant, He also gives them the ability to carry and the power to withstand these difficulties. And He will also make them understand the hikmah, the wisdom, why Allah afflicted them that affliction. So he's saying to him, because he was asking, make me carry affliction. He's saying, don't ask for to carry affliction. Ask Allah to give you what is pleasing to him. Now, how did Sheikh uh, Hamad Baba Samasi know what 
what Shah Bahauddin Naqshbad asked in his dua in Sahar. Awliya Allah. There is a lot to unpack here. Inshallah, I would like to do a series about the Mashaykh and the Tariqah. We, there's a lot we want to do. This is some of his, uh, he says, He says, I looked in the heavens and on the earth to find a hand span, shibr. He said, I looked in the heavens and in the earth to find a place where Iblis did not make sajda. Because it's well known. That Iblis, before he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursed him, he was Abid. It is said that he didn't leave any place in heaven or on earth except he made sajda for Allah. And he says, I also looked for a moment in which Iblis is heedless from chasing Bani Adam, not paying attention to, to what they're doing of creation, so that I may tie him in that moment so that they may worship Allah without, without at least bothering them. He says, I did not find. Means Iblis is always after you. He's not one one iota, one one moment, Shaykh Abdi is saying. He is not paying attention to what you're doing. This is Iblis. People accept that Iblis is everywhere at all times. He's making was was to you, 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 to the whole whole creation, no problem. He can be everywhere. He can pay attention to everyone. Say. And he is cursed, mal'oon, malish, no problem. But you say, will awliya. They can see what's in your heart. Oh, that's it. Where are you bringing this from? Iblis can see what's in your heart. Iblis can read what is, what's in your mind. Iblis can make was was to you. Yes. Mal'oon. What about the awliya al murdiyin if Allah wants to give them to help his servants, whatever abilities is too much, it's not. Karamatul awliya. We'll stop here because we're running out of time. We need to read some knowledge as well. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. يا سيدي ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الحبيب بحرمة الفاتحة